Danny, what pleased you most about that performance today? Final whistle, three points. Uh, so there's things on it, we, we're talking in the office, there's things on it that we, we could have done better and improved upon. Uh, I felt comfortable for it, I think most people did. Uh, yes, there's a few mischance, a few wayward passes, but it's this part of the season, like any part of the season, it's about the win. And you see Woken have scored the 96th minute and people are a bit down in there about that. But my, my point with that is, well, if we hadn't won, we would have felt more down because it's the gaps get bigger. Same points, goal behind, uh, it's all to play for. But we've got to keep, we've got to keep getting these three points on the ball. Uh, it's great today for the supporters because they not seen us win for a while. So it's good for them. Great crowd, great turnout. Uh, clean sheet. What more can you want? Yeah, overall it was a convincing and deserved victory, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. I think it was without us being absolutely exceptional. And I think it shows that uh, myself, yourself, the supporters, it is about the points. Uh, in an ideal world, you play free flowing football. You take every chance and you get your three points today. I thought we did play some good football at times, created some good opportunities. Mm. Should have scored a few more. Defended our box brilliantly. And you get what you get what you uh, you get what you put in, and the results don't lie, and that result didn't lie today. Ollie Banks came close to scoring three or four times before yeah. he got his goal. That's two and two for him now. How pleased yeah, for him? Yeah, really pleased with him. Really pleased with him. He's an excellent player. He's come back, been in and out of the team recently. Uh, obviously, last couple he's, he's, he's been a real linchpin in that midfield, spraying the ball. And even him today, he's made a few mistakes here and there, but kept going uh, and showed his quality really with his header. You know, because he's not known for his, his his heading and physicality, even though he's six foot four. Uh, he's known for his grace and and stylish play with the ball, but hell of a leap, hell of a header, and uh, please him because he's such a nice lad. And Dobbs coming off the bench to uh, to double the lead. Um, how is he? You know, he, he sort of signalled that he seemed to be okay. He didn't want to come yeah. off. What, what no, it's great. Us? I said up there to Phil, it's, a, it's the lesser of two evils if someone doesn't want to come off and gets the ump about coming off. Some lads are very quick to go, get me off, you know, I don't fancy this, but he's come on, he's... Uh, he scored, and I think you know Gaffer knows more than anyone. And uh, it was a decision to take him off, just a precaution. The game was won without being disrespectful to Halifax. Uh, he felt a tightness in, in in his hamstring, so why risk him? Obviously, he wants to go on. He probably felt there was a few more goals from which there may have been, but uh, I'm sure I'm sure Dobbs will wake up tomorrow and uh, realise probably the best thing for him. Yeah, I suppose you, you didn't want to take any chances with him, considering how close we are to the end of the season and a, and a playoff campaign. Yeah, definitely, definitely. And I think you know, I think Quasi. Uh, doing some running there. Hopefully, he'll be back next couple of days, back in training, and, and fingers crossed that'll be our end of our injury woes. You know, compared to last year, the, the numbers are staggeringly different. So, uh, fair play to the boys. They're fit. They're, they're looking after themselves away from here. And wouldn't it be great to have every single player available? Because when we're making subs now, it isn't just a, an easy discussion. You saw with with Quigley coming off. Does Dallas go up front? Does Dallas stay where he is? And McCallum come on. There's so many rotations we can do. And uh, yeah, it's a, it's a luxury of riches in that attacking department. And like I said to you the other day, we've got two players per, per position, roughly. All good players. And uh, we feel confident that anyone coming in could replace the other. And so all, all lads want to be playing every game now, so it's up to them to keep the shirt. And how important was it to get that home win? I think it was five without a, yeah. a win at the yeah. Technique before today. Yeah. So how pleasing yeah. to take really, that one off. Really, really pleasing. Uh, nice for the supporters turned out in their numbers today. I think it would have been horrible if we didn't take that second goal and then they went and scored a last minute equaliser, which we know how many times that happened last year and uh, everyone leaves a real sick feeling in, in, in their tummies, especially when they see the other scores at, at Woking, for example. Uh, so yeah, it's great that they can go home and enjoy their, their Saturday night beer a little bit more than they have recently when they left the stadium. And six unbeaten overall now, including including five wins. So you're hitting form at just the right time. Right? Yeah, it is. But you know we've got to go Maiden then next week, and we all know our record there. I think last year they beat ourselves, Wrexham, Grimsby, uh, Notts County. Maybe might be wrong with one of them. But moral of the story is that they're good at home and they're good against the big teams. And I don't mean that disrespectfully because we are a big team. We've got to go there, not take anything for granted, and come back with the three points.